the schools are now closed across the whole of the UK and I know that a lot of parents are feeling very concerned about it. Put your hand in mine, follow me, let me waste your time, set up the... Hello and welcome. I hope you are doing well in these times. Yesterday, as I'm recording this on Wednesday, we learned that the schools across the whole of the UK will close. In fact, as this video goes up, this video will go up on Friday, they will already be closed and we have no idea when they're gonna open. And that is scary for a lot of parents, I think. I wanna talk a little bit about it and try to reassure you as a parent, if you are concerned about your child's education in this time. I am coming at this as an ex-primary school teacher, an ex-childminder, an ex-maths tutor for college kids and a current foster carer. I have a bit of knowledge around education. First of all, I want to reassure you, it will be fine. You know, we don't know how long this is going to last. And you may, I've seen a lot of posts on Facebook and various different social media, people saying, oh, now I've got to be a teacher. I'm feeling just very overwhelmed by that whole idea, which I can understand. You know, teachers are trained in this, you know, they go to university for years for a reason. It's, it's a difficult job. And <clears throat> to all of a sudden, you're just a parent and now you feel like you've got to now teach, formally teach your children is overwhelming and I can appreciate that. I know that schools are issuing or will have issued now like home learning packs and I don't know, I have no idea what's in these packs. I'm sure there will be lots of ideas of things online as well and I will try my best, I will link some things down below that I've used in the past <clears throat> that are really good for different ages. And as I'm talking, obviously these things will be different depending upon the age of your children. For me, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> oh, oh, I coughed. <coughs> it's not persistent yet, it was just a one cough, it's okay. <coughs> My own situation is that I've got a 15 year old who he was has actually been off school for a few days now and the teachers have just been sending work via their like online system that they have and he's just been kind of getting on with it quite independently. So I think for him, you know, it's not real a real issue. I think that the danger as a parent that you get very overwhelmed by this and you think, right, we've got to do this education and we've got to do maths and then we've got to do English and then we've got to do this and we've got to do that. I want to say, no, just like, please stop. Do not get overwhelmed by this. We are all, I'm going to get quite emotional, we are all really quite scared right now, let's be honest. We are living in a crazy time of uncertainty. We are worried about our jobs, our livelihood, our, the health of our friends and family. There's a lot to be worried about right now and our main role right now, we may be stuck at home. We may, soon in the UK, we may be completely on lockdown. Who knows, that's how other countries are. We're probably gonna be heading that way. And our main focus and our main role in this for our children is not to formally teach them at all. Our job is to care for them. And as much as we are scared, they're scared too. And as adults, we can process it more. And I mean, we don't have any information really, I suppose, but they're scared. They're, they're little kids in this world. That, that's, that's all they're hearing is, that's what we're talking about, you know, and kids pick up on vibes of things happening and if you've got a really tense, scared sort of vibe around your house, your children will be feeling that. And your job as a parent is bollocks to the education. And I know lots of people are going to disagree with me on this, but it's like bollocks. It doesn't matter. <clears throat> it really doesn't matter. Your main role is to focus on taking care of them emotionally through this time. Some children, like you know your child better than anyone else. Some children will thrive on scheduling and they will really need that to kind of function over these next few weeks and months. We don't know when this is going to end. This could be up until the summer. Crazy. And so you, you know your kid, if it, your kid needs a schedule, you go right ahead and you do that. But it is not required and I just don't feel the pressure and the stress to do it. Your children at the moment, they may be like, yes, we don't look on your school for ages. I'm really excited about the thought of this like extended summer holiday potentially. The reality of it is going to be different that you are stuck in your house 
isolated from everyone. I mean, we do live in an age, a wondrous age of technology where we can FaceTime our friends and family and keep in touch that way. But it's not this wonderful, fun, long extended summer holiday. My advice to you as a parent myself, as an ex-educator, is to just enjoy this time with your family. I know a lot of you maybe are working from home and that is gonna be another struggle of how you juggle your work from home, plus taking care of your children and educating your children as you think. Uh, that will be a challenge, absolutely it will be. But I think now we complain so much about like, work-life family balance and how it's all messed up these days. We have been forced into a situation where we're spending all day every day with our families and use this time to do wonderful things together as a family whilst we are at the moment we're still allowed to go outside go for walks with your kids if it's raining stick on your wellies and go and splash in some puddles chat with them and obviously with social distancing be respectful of that and you know go into your back garden and if you feel the need and obviously if you're self-isolating don't go outside but if you're fit and well national trust i heard have opened their large outdoor spaces for free you know go go to large outdoor spaces i think we're you know pretty safe at the moment maybe doing that and maybe i wouldn't suggest doing it every day but you know enjoy the outside whilst you can with your children we've probably all got a little craft box in our house get the crafts out do some painting and you know all these toilet rolls that you've been using the inners of them there's wonderful activities of what you can do with those toilet rolls you can make like fire breathing dragons and things and just there's so much if you just google a uh, toilet roll craft activities so much that you can do with kids bake cookies and cakes and like there's so much maths involved in baking and counting depending on the age of your child counting and measuring and pouring and there's so much involved in that lots of museums if you go online i'll try to link a few down below lots of museums have like virtual things that you can do online um google science experiments with kids there's loads of science really fun cool science experiments that you can do uh, with just everyday objects that you'll probably have around your home anyway use this time maybe to teach them some life skills teach them to clean and if you've got a bit of well not necessarily an older child but you know a young teenager and they can't cook teach them to cook a few simple dishes you know all that pasta that you've been hoarding at home teach your kid how to make like some simple pasta dishes use it to teach them some real good life skills that will do them good well into the future. Read books together, heck, get under a blanket all day and watch movies. Please don't stress about your child's education. This, like I say, this could go on for a very long time. And I know, again, I know people will disagree with me. In the long run, these few months will not have an effect maybe on a few children maybe they will as a general rule i don't believe they will have an effect on our child's education when we do go back to school our teachers will sort it out they will we're all our kids are in this together and our teachers are wonderful they do a wonderful job every day looking after our children well they don't educating our children they're not free childcare educating our children and when we when this dies down and we're all back in school and everything's normal again i just can't you can't envision a time of normality at the moment can you it's crazy but it will correct itself and it will be fine my son didn't do year seven i took him out of school so many people around me at the time were so concerned about his formal education well how will he do maths how will he do science how will he do the other we went traveling around asia and china went to china and we thailand and cambodia we went all over the place we did some wonderful things we volunteered in an orphanage we stayed with families we we had an amazing amazing time and he learned so much in that year and now if you like three years later he's fine he's it's like he never missed school whatsoever he's in top sex for everything he's doing wonderful in school i'm not saying i mean of course school and education is important but that was so valuable to him and he has wonderful memories 
of this year of like mother son time that he had and this couple of months use it to reconnect with your children and do wonderful family activities there can be a tendency if you feel under pressure and stress to like you've got to sit down and do this maths now it's just gonna cause a horrible atmosphere in your house and you're stuck with each other <laughs> don't stress about it if your kid doesn't want to do the maths that day just don't it's not gonna have this huge lasting effect on your child what's important in this time is our health the health of our friends and family and loved ones <laughs> money of course money and how we get through this financially is important and our kids happiness and well-being and mental health our own mental health as well in all of this that's that's what's important a few months off school in my opinion it's not a big deal i know that you know kids who are doing gcse's and a levels and things like oh what happens that it'll get figured out it will get figured out have faith and have trust that it will get sorted and your kids will not be detrimented down the line that this happened to them long after this is over our kids will look back on this time and they will remember how they felt how how their household coped with it how they as a family what what happened with them as a family and did they feel scared about it or did they have this wonderful time with their family or were they yelled at constantly because they needed to do schoolwork and with there just tension in the house and let's try to make this time that our children will look back on with fond memories even of this enforced family time that they had their academic skills that what they're learning it doesn't matter it just doesn't doesn't matter and I know that you maybe feel that it does it doesn't in the grand scheme of life a couple of months of school and this it, it doesn't matter it doesn't matter so please do try not to stress about it you are very noisy <laughs> please do try not to stress about it if you have got any questions or want any advice you know like i say i am an ex-teacher do leave me any questions down below i will try my best to help you we're being so many <laughs> just over there you're singing a beautiful morning song is this our morning song <laughs> yeah um yeah and do check out the description for any resources that may be of interest to you stay safe look after each other thank you very much for watching and i will see you soon Bye.